Grandparents should keep still. They shouldn't mix. Now, could there be any justified situations in which a rare exception to such conventional wisdom could be made? We find one in Parshat Vayechi. Yaakov was just about to die. He was blind at that time. Just prior to his death, he summoned his two grandchildren, Ephraim and Manasseh, in order to bless them and through them to bless all subsequent Jewish generations. And Yosef lined up the two boys in front of him. Manasseh on one side so that Yaakov's right hand would go on his head and Ephraim on the left side so that Yaakov's left hand would go on his head. But then Yaakov crossed his hands over and Yosef panicked and he shouted out, Lochei not so, Father. Yosef dreaded a scenario in which the lessons of the previous generations would not be learnt. He knew what had happened when Yaakov had bought the birthright from his twin brother Esau. He knew what had happened with himself when he was favoured by Yaakov over his older brothers. And now Yaakov, the grandparent, was imposing a situation yet again in which the younger child was going to be favoured over the older child. And yet Yaakov wouldn't listen to Yosef. He said to him, Yadati v'ni, Yadati, my son, I know exactly what I am doing. I am going ahead. And he proceeded to bless the boys in that way. How could Yaakov have done this? I believe that Yaakov wanted us to recall for all time the words of Menashe after his younger brother was favoured over him. And what did Menashe say? Absolutely nothing. And that's the whole point. He didn't cry out. He didn't dispute the situation. He didn't complain. Yaakov predicted that because he had been studying with these children. He had seen them in their home in Egypt. He was impressed to witness the extent to which in the home of Yosef and Osnat, the whole position of the Bechorah, of the birthright, was immaterial. The most important thing of all was that everyone in the family should get on well together. So Yaakov created this scenario to show that the boys would be blessed, just being the best of friends. And it was in this spirit that Yaakov continued to say that for all subsequent generations, we should bless our children to be just like Ephraim and Manasseh. Within a healthy family environment, every child is unique. Every child is special. And yes, of course, one might be born before another, but every child should know that their parents love them as much as they love the other children. In the spirit of the lessons imparted to us by Yaakov Avinu, may we all be blessed to have homes which are filled with peace and togetherness, unity and harmony. Homes in which our children are just like Ephraim and Menashe. Shabbat Shalom.